Gurmaga the Kahir like you do spoil Boatlam, Kurgurgat, Kurgurgasi in the Blatza, Er and Postatog at Nish, Agasta Sulagon Ganaro, Ilat, Sakahir Shin. I'd also like to welcome the Minister to the Chamber and to congratulate her on her appointment. We're very lucky to have somebody of her experience and skills to take over such an important portfolio. And I'm confident that she'll do an excellent job um, uh, to, to safeguard us all. And the legislation that she has outlined to the House today is perhaps a very important part of that. And I take on board entirely what she has said about the significance of this legislation, of its importance in terms of protecting ordinary society and protecting citizens uh, in this country as well. Um, there are a number of agencies and, and non-governmental organisations who have expressed concerns about the operation of the Special Criminal Court and of the, the manner in which it, it operates here. Uh, however, I do recognise the importance. I think it has its place. Uh, and I think the, the Minister has given us very clear reasons why that's the case. Um, as a practising criminal barrister, I must say I am very attached to the notion of juries. I'm very concerned about situations where we don't have juries. Uh, juries are an important part of the criminal justice system that takes important factual decision making out of the hands of uh, people who've seen it all before, perhaps jaded lawyers, um, every judge has practiced for a long time as a, as a lawyer at, at the very least, and will have seen it all before. And the important thing about juries is that they take, the, uh, they take fresh eyes to a case and they mean that the factual decisions are made by ordinary citizens. And it's also an important link uh, between the citizenry and the administration of justice. So I don't for, for a moment underestimate the importance of juries, but notwithstanding that, um, the Special Criminal Court and non-jury courts in general are an important part of criminal justice now for over a century, um, and the Special Criminal Court has its place. And I think it's extremely important that we pass um, this legislation again, as, as has been noted um, by the Chair and by other speakers. Um, having a Special Criminal Court operating the way it does in Ireland is predicated on a number of things. Uh, we obviously have rules of evidence and fair procedures that are safeguarded um, by other courts uh, and, and the decisions of the Special Criminal Court being reviewable to those courts um, uh, up the line. So, uh, and also the fact that you have a functional uh, legal profession which defends the rights of persons before the court. It's also important to have good and fair judges who apply the law in an even-handed way. And in the context of this legislation, it's really unfortunate that in the last week we've seen a situation where members of the Oireachtas have openly, unfairly and unjustly criticised judges merely for the decisions they've made, simply it seems because those particular members didn't understand those decisions or didn't agree with those decisions. I was also disappointed to see a second party and the chairman of the Labour Party weighing in with that and supporting that decision. We as legislators must recognise the separation of, of powers in this country. We must recognise the importance of an independent judiciary and judges who exercise their powers as judges without fear of favour, without wishing to, tend to, to curry popularity with politicians is an extremely important institution within the state. And I think we must, must recognise that. And, and the kind of comments that we saw last week, the kind of campaigns that were launched last week are totally, in my view, unacceptable. Um, Notwithstanding that, I think that we should consider, and I'd perhaps ask the Minister to take this under review in, in the coming year, um, as we look perhaps at this legislation again, we should certainly be looking at the manner in which the Special Criminal Court operates. At the moment, the decision as to where certain cases go into the non-jury court or not is made by the Director of Public Prosecutions, and she will certify uh, whether a case is appropriate for that procedure or not. Now, she does so sparingly, in fairness to her, and she does so carefully. Notwithstanding that, the DPP is not a, a disinterested party within the process, and it seems to me appropriate that that decision could or should be taken out of the hands of the prosecutorial authorities and perhaps put into the hands of an independent judicial authority. Perhaps a High Court judge and an application could be brought by the DPP to the High Court as to whether a case is appropriate for, uh, for treatment by the Special Criminal Court, a non-jury court or not. I think that would deal with a lot of the concerns that are expressed by the NGOs that I mentioned earlier um, and would address many of the concerns uh, that they've had. The second thing is that obviously in the course of a hearing in the Special Criminal Court, if evidential issues arise, uh, and as I said already, 
the protection of the rules of evidence for defendants before the Special Criminal Court is extremely important. But where rows uh, arise in the course of a trial about whether a piece of evidence is admissible or not, uh, in a normal jury trial, the jury would be excluded for consideration of the admissibility of that evidence. And so if the evidence is excluded thereafter, the jury would consider the factual matrix without having any knowledge of the evidence that was deemed inadmissible. By contrast, in the Special Criminal Court, voir dire hearings, uh, or, or that, that kind of evidential hearing, takes place not just before, but uh, for the decision of the judges who are also the jury, if you like, in the case of a special criminal court trial. And it seems to me that we should also be looking at the evidential provisions in the course of the practice and procedure in the special criminal court to see if perhaps there should be a separate judicial authority to make rulings in respect of evidential, uh, evidential questions that arise in the course of a trial. But as I say, I take on board entirely what the Minister said about the importance of this legislation, about the rationale for it, about the fact that the Special Criminal Court does have a very clear place in the Irish criminal justice system, and I'd be grateful if she would consider perhaps some of the modifications that I've suggested to hone that system again, to create even greater safeguards for persons who are brought before that court, so that we could perhaps consider putting in place a system that is more transparently independent than the one that currently exists. Thank you. Thank you.